hey roadie fans it may not feel like it, but baseball season is in full swing here at the Beck. The Rams took to the field today for their second home game of the season against Hofstra. Coming off of a five game winning streak and a big win on Wednesday against Stony Brook, the Rams went into today's double header with a new sense of confidence. The Rams took an early lead in game one of the series against Hofstra, going up 5-0 and never looked back. The Rams bats were hot with four Rams players with three hits each. Standouts at the plate today were Caputo, Foreman, Fortunato, and LaBelle. But the real story of the day was the pitching. Senior Mike Bradstreet continued to impress on the mound with seven scoreless innings, extending his streak to a record 30 consecutive scoreless innings this season, and leading the Rams to an impressive 11-1 victory. Not to be outdone, in Game 2, senior Sean Fernie allowed just two hits over seven and a half scoreless innings, helping the Rams to a 2-0 victory in Game 2. Uh, you went seven scoreless innings today, bringing you an impressive 30 consecutive scoreless innings this season. You must be feeling great so far. Yeah, feeling real good. Just throwing strikes. We got good players behind us. Like Timmy had a great day defensively. Mike, we have great infield. So nobody on, just throwing it up, letting him put it in play. All right. Now this win must be particularly good for you as you're really able to silence the Hofstra's bats, um, a team who was ranked one of the top teams offensively last year. What pitches were really working for you today? Uh, just throwing my fastball in for strikes and letting them put that in play and then following up with the slider when they were trying to guess fastball. So just letting it work. Now going into tomorrow's game, what do you think the Rams need to do to get that sweep? Just get a couple runs early. If they get a couple runs early, they might just go away because we were uh, on top both games today. Five hits, three runs, two RBIs. Um, how do you think your effort really contributed to the overall win today? Uh, well, being at the top of the lineup, I like to do what I can base just so my teammates can get me in and um, early in the game there it was good it was nice to uh, do that and get on base so uh, three four hitters can just get me in. What do you think the major difference was between the first game and the second game in regards to hits? Well um, obviously he was a lefty he wasn't throwing very hard um, change ups fastballs and uh, obviously just different arm angles and just the speed velocity. Now going into the last game tomorrow, what do you think the Rams need to do to get that sweep? Definitely dress warm and uh, keep doing keep doing what we're doing. I mean, we're getting hits and we're playing defense and we're pitching well. So just keep it up, keep up what we're doing. All right, Sean, great job today. How did you deal with the elements? Um, well, it was real cold today. Obviously, it's probably the coldest I've pitched in a while, but. Uh, I got out uh, out of the first game a little earlier, went to the locker room, just warmed up a little bit, got my stretches in in the barn, and uh, basically just went out there and tried to throw strikes. Once you start going, once you start pitching, you don't even realize the wind or the or the weather. It's just once you can get in that zone and just try to channel everything, it, it really worked out. And uh, I just threw strikes, and it, and it worked out well. All right, now coming out of the game today, do you think that you could have thrown any better, or you know, what was what were you feeling? Um, I felt good. I got that last guy on a strikeout. Um, I wasn't sure if coach was going to take me out or leave me in. I saw him come get me. But uh, when you got a guy like Bob, the way he's been throwing, the way he's been closing games out, I was completely confident. Comes in, gets a strikeout, ground ball, saves my two runners that I left on. And uh, he's just been doing great lately, so I'm glad he got in there and got the job done. Come out to the back tomorrow at noon and support Rody Baseball as they face Hofstra in Game 3 of the series.